y'all just keep on rambling and rambling. Like we don't know when to shut up. <laughs> That's why we always Demon. run out of time because y'all too busy hey, talking, you don't talking, know when talking, to be on time. and don't know you when don't know to when shut to up. You don't know when to be on time. You don't know how to keep track of time. I'm tired of listening to his mouth. Mm. All right, Barnier. You can go ahead and start. Where is it? Where did it go? Okay, here it is. Um, hold on. Hold on, where it go? Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Welcome to the educators, fellas. It's almost the end of the week, and but better way to start will happen. What? I push back. Oh, okay, I'm reading off. I'm sorry. Mm. Welcome. Why to you kick me out? Fellas, it's almost the end of Why the you week. Kick me out? And with a better way to start than some. Why are you kicking? Are you guys ready? All right, you guys. First up, that sounds like Damien. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright you guys, first up, a 15 year old student in Missouri was suspended for filming her geometry teacher who has joined a conversation that was not geometrical. Watch this clip. So what's interesting about this clip provides a lot of questions about this topic. When did the conversation start and why did they have the conversation in geometry class? So gentlemen, the question is... Was she unfairly punished because she was suspended? Oh, oh. goodness. All right. Next up, I came across an IG post from a high school. From from a high school. I said, all right. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> I'm wasting time. Wasting time. All right, next up, I came across an IG post from a high school history teacher who has been teaching for the past 20 years. Nicholas Ferroni, I hope I said his last name correctly, took to his followers <laughs> on Instagram Is this your teacher? about the education crisis that's happening in America. He says over teacher? 30, over 300,000 teachers and school staff left education in 2022. In 2022 and two out of five teachers plan on quitting over the next two years. And he continues to say, if we don't pay resource, support, and value teachers, soon there won't be many teachers left. We can't claim to care about children and not support, pay, and resource the people who spend the most time with the largest number of children. Now, Brian Prince TJ, I have to ask this question again until there is some action done behind it. So why do you think there's an education crisis happening around the world? And what do you think as a society can do to fix this issue? Is this your actual teacher? TJ, go. No. Oh. Did you heard what I said at the beginning? I came across an IG post from a high school history teacher who has been teaching for the past 20 years. Oh. Idiot. That's what you said from my high school teacher. Okay. Well, all right, next up. Oh, we have to take a quick break. We'll be right back. This is the educators that should get canceled. <laughs> Who's next? Oh, <laughs> welcome back to the educators. We're going to get back into some ed chat. Now, we love this person here. I know we're not talking about that uh, dude again. He's all about helping our students, and he took to the took to his IG post about teach about a teaching strategy on what teachers should do. He says the best teaching strategy is grace. The best classroom management tip is showing kids grace. One of the best ways to build relationships is to show grace. The best teachers show grace. Oh my God, it's just a lot of grace. The best teachers show grace. Showing grace is come on. Completely grace in my dreams. Showing grace is always the right decision to make. So, fellas, do you agree with Mr. Reed here about teachers showing grace to kids? It's a lot of grace words. Moving on, experts advise that when it comes to child custody battles, as the child gets older, their opinion on where they want to live should be given greater consideration. However, 
The ultimate decision should be based on what is in the child's be best interest. And experts also advise that younger children should not make the decision as to which parent is better because they may later have regrets about their decision. So, fellas, should a child have a say in which parent they live with after a divorce? I'm going to change my name to Grace. Good. Uh. Well, we have to take a quick break, but don't move. We got more air chat coming up. Welcome back to the educators. Now, what would you do if somebody was looking? How would you act if somebody found out? Well, today we're putting the people. Hold on, hold on. Make sure I said that right way. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome back to the educators. Now, what would you do if somebody was looking? Or how would you act if somebody found out? Hold on. Welcome back to the educators. Now, what would you do if somebody was look if nobody was looking? How would you act if no one found out? <laughs> okay. Today we're putting you to the test, people. It's time to decide this dilemma. Now, Ed, Fam, now, Ed Fam, we wanted to know, what would you do when presented with a few moral dilemmas? So we've asked, a, we asked you a few scenarios, and here's the first one. You're in the middle of an overnight shift at, at work. It's time to take your lunch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> lunch. Not, not lunch. Your lunch, your lunch, your lunch break. <laughs> it's time to take your lunch break. You accidentally forget your lunch at home. Get that. Wait, what? Well, Ed FM, you all voted, so check this out. 30% of you say that you are past hungry and that frozen dinner actually does have your name on it. It has your name all over it. So you ate it while the other 90% of you say that you'll go hungry and now and just eat later 90 plus 30 that's not a hundred <laughs> what <laughs> okay i got one you're with your best friend in game night you're playing uno and your friend has one car left however you have a drive wait, wait 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 <laughs> oh, oh my god it says what would you say <laughs> Okay, I got one. You're with your best friend, and it's game night. You're well, playing Uno, and your friend has one car left. However, you have a draw four. Do you let them win, or do you take no prisoners? That's um, a No, not. <laughs> now you know you have to be careful with this one because fights have broken out over the game of Uno, and it and it can get easily it can and it can get really serious. So let's see how our Ed found voted. Well, eight percent of you say that you will give it to your friend and you would let them win, but the other ninety-two percent of you say that you plan to win and you drop in the draw four on them. So, gentlemen, what would you decide in this dilemma? So oh, that one, the other Thank you. The one twenty. Five minutes remaining. Go, Bernier. Something ain't right. <laughs> Go, well, what about this one, you guys? You just start your own restaurant and have family members reach out to make reservations slash appointments. Do you charge them full price or do you give them a family discount? I believe this is no question, but. Uh, let's see what you guys have said. 55% of you all says that the family ain't paying these bills, so they had to pay for a price. I agree. While the 66% of you says that it's family and you got to hook them up. So, fellas, why would you decide this to let Well, why in my uh, paragraph that I read, it said, it say, wait, where's my line? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it said it says, what would you decide this dilemma? What does that even mean? Great job with these scenarios, fellas. We have it's to supposed take to be a quick break. But don't you move oh and go gosh. anywhere. We're coming right back after this. This is the educators. It's Welcome back to, to the educators. 
Now the oh, three my. of us love that you guys. We're running out of time. We right, gotta yeah. do this, you guys. Now the three of us love that you guys. Now wait a minute. Now the three of now the welcome back to the educators. Now the three of us <laughs> love that you guys out there see, are so see, opinionated like and engaged with the show and sometimes with our lives. You uplift us and you keep us in check. Or, and you know what I, I really I like it. about it. If God, they are like haters. You clap back, but sometimes we want to respond, so we pull a few comments that had us feeling some type of way, especially me over here. And now it's our turn. This is Haters Direct Access. So, Brian, kick us off, please. I got to take a call real quick. I'll be back. I got you. This is coming from our YouTube uh, page <laughs> under one of our oh, ed chat of discussing the GOP wants to abolish the Department of Education. This commenter writes, the Department, the Department of Education was established in 1980 with the, I don't know how you say that word, goal of improving education since its formation. Uh, you one can you track a significant, <laughs> I'm not reading this, Brian, there he is. One can track a significant <laughs> increase in education spending and get a corresponding, <laughs> this, uh, this, I got that, that and yet a corresponding decrease in student performance. So it has objectively failed and its stated goal of improving education. So if performance was better before, <laughs> why continue to throw good money after bad thoughts, fellas? That's even say money. That says money. Sorry. That's why I said money. That's a money sign. Why can't you just put money? That's what the that's what one of the commenters had right onto. I'm writing exactly oh. what they did. That's what they did. You don't do that. Well, that's what they did. That's not me. That was that person. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Well, here's we the got next one minute. Join on to another one. We got, we got how this. many minutes? We got one minute left. We gotta do this all over again. <laughs> And where the heck did Bronner go? The man just said he had a call. Um, well, this is going to cut us off, so. Did you create a next one? No, create a next one. No, because we, we, we're, we're going to start back from scratch. Start, start back another one. Start another back. link. Okay, if you give me time, there's only one of Daniel. There's not a thousand. <laughs> 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 I wish there was. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't want no twins. <laughs>